Hi guys, welcome back to another art supplies testing video. This is quite a short one because I'm just testing out two art supplies which I bought recently with my Christmas money. These are the Ecoline watercolour brush pen set of 20 which I ordered from Cass Art as they were having a deal. I also got the Caran d'Ache Neo Colour 2 Aquarel, Aquarel wax pastel tin set of 30 which I ordered from Cass Art as well. So they came together and this is me just swatching and testing them out. I saw a few people using these Ecoline pens and I really liked the way that they looked and the way they were using them in mixed media pieces to lay down big blocks of colour and to just yeah create some really nice uh, gradients and effects using the water solubleness of them and I really like the way that they feel they feel super juicy if that's a word to describe art materials the set also comes with a blender which I was having a play with here to mix together the different greens and just see how you use the blender I then move on to testing the Caran d'Ache at core, or I'm just going to call them Neo Colours. And they come with this sleeve which has got the handy swatch panel on them on the sleeve so you can test all the colours out and have them next to their names. I probably should write the names of stuff down next to my swatches really but I'm just playing and having a go with them. But this one's quite handy because it's got this colour chart. So yeah, I'm just testing these out. These were another thing that I've seen a lot of artists using online. So I wanted to get my own. And considering they're so hyped up by a lot of artists online, I wasn't overly impressed with how they felt to use. I don't know if this is just because I'm just doing a little swatch on a bit of card and not doing a mixed media piece and using them to their full potential but I wasn't wowed by them. I wasn't unimpressed with them, I just wasn't wowed by them, considering the hype that they've got. But I do love the colours, there's some really vibrant colours in there, and there's also some quite nice muted tones, and normally I go for brighter colours, but in this set, I actually like the more muted tones, those corals, the light pinks, as well as some of the olivey greens, I think will work quite nicely in the landscape pieces that I plan to create with them. I plan to use them for finishing touches in mixed media pieces alongside my watercolour paints and pencil and the Ecoline pens, so yeah, I think they'll work quite nicely. It's a bit of a shame that some of the colours are quite close together in like they look quite similar so the two yellows in this video do look quite similar the two purples the darker purples there do look quite similar and I'm not a fan of that dark blue and yeah unfortunately this one snapped as I picked it up which was kind of annoying I didn't put any pressure on it in the way I was holding it I'm not overly rough with the way that I use art materials so that was a little bit of a shame but it, I mean it's still usable so it's fine that green is quite bright it looks quite neon so I'm not sure that I'll be using that one that much in my landscape pieces especially if I'm doing them like looking a little bit more true to life rather than abstract colors but we'll see excuse me, my voice sounds a bit odd I've finally caught the cold that everyone's had around me for the past couple of months But yeah, I, I really like these colours. Those olivey greens look really nice. And I am excited to test them out properly. But this is just a quick swatching video. There's two sets of Neo colours. There's the Aquarel ones, which is what I've got. And then there's another set which aren't water soluble. So I've got the water soluble ones. And so I tested that out with the only thing I had on hand that was wet and that was my saliva. So excuse that, but you can see there how using the water really 
makes a quite a nice effect and enables you to blend stuff together quite nicely. And then yeah, I'm just having a little experiment seeing how the how they go down on this mixed media paper. They're quite rough and they don't build up quite as thickly as my oil pastels do. So they are a very different medium to anything I've used before, but I'm excited to get using them properly and find out a bit more how to about how to use them in the best way. So yeah, thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed seeing me test out my two new art supplies and I will see you again in the next one. Bye.